Well, good afternoon and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Wednesday, July 7th, the 14th Wednesday of Ordinary Time. And it is also the feast day of St. Uh, Mael Ruane, who died in 792. And he was a founder and the abbot bishop of the monastery of Talek, which is in Ireland. And that was a monastery that began in the 8th. In the eighth century, up until the Protestant Reformation, then it went went downhill. Um, otherwise, that's all I know about it. But today's gospel is from Matthew chapter ten, verses one through seven. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these: first, Simon called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go, rather, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So we got the, the mission of the twelve and the selection of the twelve and the commissioning of the twelve. So Jesus names off the twelve disciples, um, or Matthew's gospel does. And it's interesting how some, he references them to like their converted name, like Simon Peter and others. Um, they refer to him as their brother. Others, they refer to them as the son of Zebedee or the son of so-and-so or by their job title, um, or the one who betrayed him, whatever it is. Um, but you know these, these details here and there, I think, does a good job of just demonstrating that, um, that the 12 are all unique in their own special way. Um, and, and I think it's really also saying that they're, they're your regular Joe Schmoes, um, your, your regular Susans, that just whoever else that they just... Everybody's called to be a disciple of Christ, and I think that's why Matthew's gospel kind of focuses on, on not saying, you know, just na naming them all off, but then also randomly spurting out um, what they're kind of somewhat attached to, just to show that that they are normal. Um, and um, you know, there was you no know, Father Michael at the at his homily this morning did a great job of mentioning, you know, why did Jesus say, "Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town." Because it doesn't make sense, you know, that we're Christians. Um, he wants us to spread the gospel, but he says, do not go into pagan territory. And the reason he says that is because we can't go into pagan territory trying to proclaim the truth of the gospel unless we know it in our hearts first. And that's what um, Matthew's gospel is alluding to this morning, is not to go out to pagan territory right away. Make sure that you yourself understand what the teachings of Christ are first in your mind and your heart and make sure that they are both in unison before you go out and uh, spread the gospel to others through through how you live your lives and through your words and stuff like that or whatever whatever it is um, so I think that's that was a, a good point uh, a good point to be made um, so that is really this just the the challenge for today is are we do we understand ourselves, what we believe in? Are we convicted of the gospel truth of, of Jesus Christ, where we are confident and uh, we can kind of we can dialogue with people in a, in, a, in a way that helps present the gospel so that they can understand it um, and then hopefully believe it um, and trust it and trust and have, use God as an instrument. So, um, so we have that mission to do as Christians. Um, just like the, these 12 do. And Jesus, you know, it's not just like these 12 are like the top dogs, like they are, like, like they are in the sense that they help build the church. But now, but us Christians, we are all the church. Um, we are all called to our own vocation. We're all called to our own holiness. And we're all called to be in union with God in heaven someday. So, and we too have authority over unclean spirits. Like we can, we have authority we should be able to build authority over ourselves to not do this or not do that or refrain from talking this way about somebody 
or not to use profanity or not to eat that extra dessert or not to look at somebody lustfully or not to, you know, watch an inappropriate, you know, movie or something around the kids, you know, whatever, whatever it is. We have that authority just like the disciples do because those are unclean spirits within ourselves that we need to battle. So, um, so, you know, we don't need to think that we're less than the apostles because we're all on the same level playing field really because we're all sons and daughters of God. Otherwise, I'm all, I need to, I need to sum this up because I'm kind of rambling today. I feel like so. Have a great day. Enjoy spreading the gospel once you figure it out and learn within yourself, and um, just do good, do good for others, and say good, and pray good, and make sure you have a good communication level, and uh, you, you 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 pray every day. So, all right. Have a great day. God bless and keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.